welcome to Quincidence. I'm Erin Sandler, the owner, and I want to show you around our little boutique. We're a new boutique in Burlington, Massachusetts in the 3rd Avenue complex. We're just across the parking lot from King's and I can see Wegmans right outside the window. What I'd like to do today is give you a little tour. First of all, you might be wondering what a Quincidence is. And you can see right behind me, we have the definition. So a coincidence is an object you stumble upon that makes you happy each time you use it, put it on, or look at it. Otherwise, a serendipitous find. So what we hope you'll do is every time you come into the store, you'll find something new, something you connect with, something that just makes you happy and helps you get through your day. So let's take a look around the store and maybe we can find something that'll make you happy. Right when you walk through the door, you have our kids section. We have 90% American made goods and 10% fair trade. So I'll try to point out some of the things that are American made and fair trade. First of all, these are fair trade dresses from Global Mamas. They're made by women in Ghana. Um, we have some Georgie Porgy items here. There's some little placemats and napkins to teach kids manners while they're eating. Um, we also, they also make sticker stationery to help kids learn how to do thank you notes. We also have lots of blocks from Uncle Goose, which is a, a, a wonderful block maker in Minnesota, American made. Froggles swim goggles. Um, they will not pull your kid's hair, which is really nice. Plant stamps right here in Beverly, Massachusetts. These lovely toys from Tree Hopper Toys in Illinois. And of course, these gorgeous handmade dresses and the elephant shirts from Little Goodall in Texas. We've set up a nice wedding display right here for the weddings that you might be attending this summer. Um, and in the wedding display, we've included some great gift ideas. We've got tea towels, we have coasters and food slabs from American Stonecraft, which is up in Lowell, Massachusetts, another very local company. Of course, we have stationery, cards, and, and congratulations, some specific wedding cards beneath and so forth, recipe boxes, some pottery. This is from Farmhouse Pottery in Vermont. Gorgeous, gorgeous ideas for, for weddings this summer. Over here we have a display wall. This will change frequently. Right now we have some Natalie Therese bags. These are made in Boxburg, Massachusetts, another local company. Um, we're nearly sold out of them already, even though we've only been open for two weeks because people have been very excited. They're made from cork, which is a renewable resource. They're very eco-friendly, vegan-friendly. Um, she makes a wrist flip and the classic bag and then a large hobo bag that we have sold out of. We have a nice gardening apron from Farmhouse Pottery in Vermont, and then some blankets. We'll get to some more blankets on the other side as well. These blankets are from Textillery Weavers in Indiana, and they're great. They're made from Sunbrella fabric, so they can go inside or outside. So all along the front window, we have this beautiful glass display case. It's one of the things that we're most proud of in the store. It's where we put a lot of our glassware, pottery, um, some of our wood products, and we have everything from Dock 6 pottery in Minnesota to Elias Glass on Cape Cod, again, a Massachusetts company to Gary Bodker Glass, and Gary is out in Portland, Oregon. So you can see we try to do as much with American Made as we can, and we try to stay as local as we can whenever we are able to find local makers. Right in the center of the store, we have what we like to call our living room setup. We have a couple of very comfy chairs for you to relax in if you are waiting for someone else to shop or if you just need a little bit of break. Um, or the other part that we like to say
about the living room is that you can sit here for a minute and imagine how one of these pieces that you see on the glass wall might fit into your decor. So you could look at a glass bowl, for example, and imagine how it might fit into your home. The other feature that we're very proud of in the store is our honeycomb wall. And the honeycomb wall is full of all of our soaps and candles, um, also our fragrance collection. All of the soaps and candles and fragrances are American made, and we have products from Colorado, Virginia, Georgia, um, North Carolina, so we have a whole bunch of, oh, and Maine, I can't forget, Seabix candles from Maine. So we have a whole bunch of different products, wonderful products for you to check out. We also have quite a few leather goods. Most of them are from Rustico Leather, which is in Utah. They have leather journals, and over in the men's section, we also have wallets and cord wraps. Over at this end, we have a very nice selection of stationery. Uh, we have stationery from both Rifle Paper Company and Saturn Press. We also carry some Red Bird ink stationery as well. And these journals are another one of our fair trade products. They're made in India. They're actually made from cotton rags. They're not paper at all, but they're made from cotton rags that have been processed and rebound into journals. So it's a, a case of upcycling. And then finally on this wall, we have men's and women's clothing and accessories, and of course, some jewelry. So you may have noticed jewelry throughout the store. We have jewelry in this case and in a couple of other cases around the store. So as we walk back to the front, there's one last thing I want to show you. You may have noticed right behind the desk, right by our, our definition, we have what we call our featured maker. And this month it happens to be jewelry. Each month we're going to rotate out the featured maker and we want to share one of the stories of the makers in the store with you. So this month it's Maggie Bocor Jewelry. Maggie's been a big supporter of ours since we started the store. And we are going to put up a big poster so you can see the artist at work making their creations. We also do an interview with them and post that on our blog. And then we put their products into a featured section on the website to make all of their products easy to find. So I hope you enjoyed the tour of the store. I hope you're able to find us online. It's quinstance.com. And if you're in the Burlington, Massachusetts area, I hope you'll come and find us at 3rd Avenue. Our address is 19 3rd Avenue, Burlington, Massachusetts.